Amidst the chaos and destruction of the Ukrainian conflict, a remarkable occurrence has captivated the world. Footage and photographs have emerged, revealing a baffling sight. The Russian T-72 tank turret soaring through the air when struck by enemy fire. With every hit, these formidable war machines are not only shattered but transformed into catapults, launching their turrets high into the air before crashing back to Earth. However, this outcome is not a result of an exceedingly potent anti-tank weapon. But the question is, what causes Russian T-72 tanks to shatter upon impact with their turrets thrown a significant distance from the tank's body? The current phenomenon, commonly referred to as the jack-in-the-box effect, involves a devastating explosion that occurs when the heat or shock wave from a blast triggers the detonation of all the ammunition stored within a tank. This explosion generates an intense overpressure, propelling the tank's turret straight up into the air. The scattered remnants of Russian tank turrets found along Ukrainian roads highlight a design flaw known as the jack-in-the-box issue which relates to how ammunition is stored and loaded in many Russian tanks. Whenever the turret or hull is struck, even by a single penetrating hit, the ammunition can ignite, resulting in the jack-in-the-box effect. The resulting explosive force tears the tank apart internally, often forcefully separating the turret and propelling it a significant distance away. Unfortunately, such incidents prove instantly fatal to the tank's crew. With this in mind, the next question is, how Russian-designed tanks, particularly the T-72, store and load their ammunition? Russian-made T-72 and T-80 tanks, according to Steven Zaloga, an expert on Russian and Soviet armor, are particularly prone to destruction due to their auto-loading mechanisms. These mechanisms store tank rounds in a carousel located at the base of the turret. Specifically in the T-72, a widely used Soviet-designed vehicle in Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the shells are arranged in a ring within the turret. When struck in the right location, an enemy shot can trigger a rapid ignition of the ammunition ring, leading to a chain reaction that forcefully detaches the turret from the tank's hull, resulting in a fatal blow. The autoloaders in these tanks typically hold approximately 20 rounds when fully loaded. The vulnerability of Russian tanks stems from how their ammunition is stored. Unlike modern Western tanks, which have separate compartments for ammunition storage, Russian tanks carry multiple shells directly within their turrets. This design flaw renders them highly susceptible to chain reactions, as even an indirect hit can trigger an explosion of the entire ammunition store, which can consist of up to 40 shells. In contrast to Western tanks that typically have a crew of four, consisting of commander, driver, gunner, and loader, the Russians opted to automate and simplify the loading process in the T-72 series and subsequent tanks. By implementing an autoloader, the number of personnel required is reduced by 25%, and the space inside the turret is significantly decreased since rounds are not manually handled. This automation also contributes to the T-72's lower profile, making it easier to seek cover and remain unnoticed compared to taller tanks like the M1 Abrams. However, it is worth noting that in some instances, the Russians have added cope cage armor welded to the roof, which can diminish the advantages of the lower profile, particularly during their operations in Ukraine. What could potentially worsen the effect of the, of the jack-in-the-box? Russian tanks equipped with autoloaders such as T-72 often lack sufficient ballistic protection, exacerbating the consequences of the jack-in-the-box effect. Unlike the French Leclerc tank, which stores ammunition away from the crew, the T-72 houses its ammunition in a carousel beneath the turret without any separation. This design flaw leaves no barrier between the crew and the ammunition, rendering the tank highly vulnerable. In contrast, 
Tanks like the Abrams prioritize crew safety by employing separate ammunition storage compartments with blowout panels. These panels redirect explosive forces away from the crew compartment, providing valuable time for the crew to escape. The Abrams also incorporates blast walls to isolate the ammunition compartment from the turret, ensuring crew protection even if the tank becomes disabled. However, the T-72 lacks blowout panels, exposing the crew to immediate danger. A penetrating hit to the turret or hull can ignite the ammunition, resulting in a catastrophic jack-in-the-box effect. The forceful blast tears the tank apart from the inside, often propelling the turret away with tremendous force. These incidents are fatal to the crew, making the T-72 notorious as a terrifying death trap. The contrasting philosophies on crew survivability are evident in the different approaches to ammunition storage. While the M1 Abrams prioritizes crew safety with its segregated compartments and blast walls, the T-72 sacrifices crew protection for the sake of an auto-loading system, reducing crew numbers and space within the turret. This design choice, coupled with the lack of blowout panels, exposes the crew to immediate danger upon ammunition ignition. Due to the well-known location of ammunition storage in the T-72, it becomes a potential target for enemy fire. In one notable instance, a Ukrainian BTR-4 gunner successfully destroyed a Russian T-72 by accurately targeting the thin side armor covering the ammunition storage at close range. Such incidents further solidify the T-72's reputation as a death trap and perpetuate the dark humor surrounding Olympic turret throwing champions. Zaloga, a senior analyst with the Teal Group, highlights an additional concern regarding the autoloaders in Russian tanks. These autoloaders have limited capacity, storing only a portion of the tank's ammunition. This becomes problematic as a fully loaded Russian tank can carry up to 40 rounds, with many of them stored in areas of the fighting compartment that lack protection against anti-tank weapons. The vulnerability of Russian tanks to catastrophic ammunition explosions is not a recent phenomenon. Similar vulnerabilities were observed in Soviet-made tanks during Operation Desert Storm in Iraq and previous conflicts involving Syrian tanks. In an attempt to mitigate losses during the Chechen wars, the Russians reduced ammunition loads storing all ammunition and propellant in the autoloaders. However, carrying partial ammunition loads poses challenges in combat situations. Engaging in intense firefights may quickly deplete 20 to 22 rounds of ammunition, emphasizing the need for substantial ammunition reserves. Ultimately, the autoloading system and ammunition storage configuration is Russian tanks, like the T-72, present grave dangers to the safety of their crews. Without sufficient ballistic protection, blowout panels, and proper separation between crew members and ammunition, the risk of catastrophic explosions, known as the jack-in-the-box effect, becomes alarmingly high. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.